Inventory turnover. It's a term that might sound a bit dry at first, but trust me, it's a cornerstone of effective business management. Picture this. You're running a store. Maybe it's a clothing boutique or an electronics shop. You've got products on your shelves, but how quickly are those products flying off? That's where inventory turnover comes into play. It's more than just a number. It's a vital sign of your business's health. So, what exactly is inventory turnover? Simply put, it measures how many times you sell and replace your inventory in a given period. It's calculated using a straightforward formula. Take your cost of goods sold, or COGS, and divide it by your average inventory. Let's break that down with an example. If your COGS for the year is $1,000-$1,000 and your average inventory is $200,000, your inventory turnover ratio would be 5. That means you sold and replaced your inventory five times over the year. Pretty neat, right? Now, why should you care about this number? Well, understanding inventory turnover is crucial for managing your stock levels. If your turnover is too low, you could be sitting on excess inventory, which ties up cash and increases holding costs. On the flip side, a high turnover ratio usually means you're selling your products quickly which is great for cash flow and profitability. Let's dive deeper into the impact of high inventory turnover on financial statements. Imagine you own a clothing store. Over the year, your COGS is $500,000 and your average inventory balance is $100,000, giving you a turnover ratio of five. Now, suppose you implement better inventory management practices and boost that turnover ratio to seven. What happens? Your COGS might drop to $350,000 because you're selling more efficiently. That means your gross profit increases to $150,000. Higher gross profit translates to a better net income, which is music to any business owner's ears. But it's not just the income statement that benefits. Your balance sheet will also look healthier. With a higher turnover, your inventory levels decrease to, say, $70,000. That reduction frees up cash allowing you to invest in new products or expand your business. And let's not forget about the cash flow statement. When your inventory turnover is high, you're not tying up cash in unsold goods, which means more liquidity for other investments. Now let's flip the coin and talk about low inventory turnover. Imagine you're running an electronics store. Your COGS is $1,000,000 and your average inventory is $300,000 giving you a turnover ratio of 3.33. If demand drops and your turnover ratio falls to 2, you're only selling and replacing your inventory twice a year. This scenario can lead to a higher CAW guess. Let's say it climbs to $1,500,000 due to markdowns and unsold stock. Your gross profit shrinks to $500,000, which is not what you want to see. Low turnover also means you're sitting on more inventory, which could increase your working capital requirements. If your inventory balance rises to $400,000, you've got cash tied up that could be used elsewhere. This situation can lead to reduced cash flow, limiting your ability to invest in new opportunities or expand your business. So, what do you do with this information? First and foremost, you need to interpret your inventory turnover results. A high ratio is a good sign, indicating that you're selling inventory efficiently. A low ratio, however, is a red flag. It suggests that you might be overstocked or that your products aren't moving as quickly as they should. This could lead to increased holding costs and potential obsolescence of inventory. Now, you might be wondering, should organizations aim for higher or lower inventory turnover? The answer is clear. Aim for higher turnover. A higher ratio means better cash flow, reduced holding costs, and increased efficiency. It reflects that you're managing your inventory effectively and not holding on to excess stock. However, there are some common pitfalls to watch out for when it comes to inventory turnover. One of the biggest issues is inaccurate COGS. If your COGS isn't calculated correctly, your turnover ratio will be off, leading to poor decision-making. Seasonal fluctuations can also skew your numbers. If you see a spike in sales during the holidays, 
it might not accurately reflect your overall inventory management practices. Another consideration is comparing your turnover ratio to industry benchmarks. If you're in a niche market, those benchmarks might not apply to you. And don't forget about excess or obsolete inventory. Holding on to outdated stock can skew your turnover ratio and give you a false sense of security. So how can cost accountants help? They play a crucial role in monitoring and improving inventory turnover. Regular analysis of turnover ratios can help identify trends and areas for improvement. They can dig deep to find the causes of low turnover and recommend strategies to address them, whether that means optimizing sales forecasting or streamlining production processes. Accountants can also monitor COGS to ensure it accurately reflects the true cost of goods sold. They can identify opportunities to reduce costs, like lowering holding costs or optimizing the supply chain. Implementing inventory management systems can also be a game changer. These systems help track inventory levels, forecast demand, and ensure that you're not overstocking or running out of popular items. What tools and processes should accountants use to keep an eye on inventory turnover? Inventory management systems are a must. They provide real-time visibility into stock levels and help forecast demand. Regular financial reporting can help track turnover ratios over time revealing trends that need attention. Sales forecasting is another key tool. It helps align inventory levels with customer demand, preventing excess stock. Supply chain optimization is crucial for improving turnover. By working closely with suppliers and logistics partners, accountants can ensure timely deliveries and accurate inventory levels. And don't underestimate the importance of regular inventory audits. They help maintain accurate inventory records and prevent excess stock or stockouts. In conclusion, understanding inventory turnover is essential for every business owner. It's not just a financial metric, it's a vital tool for managing your operations effectively. By keeping a close eye on your inventory turnover ratio, you can make informed decisions that lead to improved cash flow, reduced costs, and ultimately, a more profitable business. So, whether you're running a small boutique or a large electronics store, remember that effective inventory management is key to your success. Keep turning that inventory and watch your business thrive.